part of what students across the country and here in central Indiana will protest tomorrow as part of a national walkout. The walkout is also planned to honor the 17 victims killed in the Parkland, Florida shooting. The 24 News 8's Brittany Lewis is live in Carmel with more on what they and other districts are allowing their students to do. Brittany, good morning. Good morning. Districts across central Indiana are responding to this national walkout in a variety of ways. Here in Carmel, both high school and middle school students will be allowed to participate in the walkout as long as they had signed permission slips from their parents. High schoolers will be asked to walk in silence in the field house. Middle schoolers will be asked to do the same in the cafeteria. Students will walk for 17 minutes, one minute each for each victim killed one month ago tomorrow at Marjorie. Stoneman Douglas High School. Having our students to be informed and to um, share their voice, I think that is part of um, learning and it's, it's part of what um, we certainly want our students to be critical thinkers and then to um, share their thoughts and having them to have an opportunity to share that with a broader um, public rather than just what's happening in the classroom, it does make it very relevant. Um, so it, it is an opportunity for students to choose to do that. In Muncie, students at Muncie, Muncie Central who choose to participate in the walkout will be going to the football stadium where speakers, including the sheriff, will be discussing topics related to gun violence and the laws surrounding guns. In Noblesville, the district is allowing students to participate in the 17-minute walkout. Students have also planned a number of other activities to honor the victims of the Parkland shooting. Cecina Memorial High School, a Catholic school here in Indianapolis, will be holding a prayer service to remember the victims and in support of the protests against, against gun violence in schools. In a letter to parents, the Hamilton Southeastern superintendent said students are working with teachers and administrators about how to voice concerns, but that walking out of school raises concerns for schools trying to balance student safety and instruction while still supporting student expression. I have reached out to other districts in the area about what they have planned for tomorrow, and we'll be getting all of that information on wishtv.com. All right, Brittany, thanks very much. It'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. And a man is facing...